Hey guys, it's Jan, also known as Zen Bluster, and today we are taking a look at the 45th anniversary Thundershot Mark II Wigo Hobby Anniversary Special, 45th Anniversary Special. There you go. As you can see, it comes with a Thundershot carbon pattern printed body included, and it's pretty good that they were able to get this done for us you know having a special part included which is like very rare like the carbon print is pretty rare in terms of being able to find it so having it included in the kit is always going to be good so let's take a look at the item number 92429 all right let's take a look at what is inside all right so first things first let's go up here it comes with a very interesting color. Um, it looks like it's labeled navy blue hard tires. The problem is, is that these are just the extra largest. So these are almost always never going to be used in terms of, um, you know, competitive racing. Um, just using the those like extra large wheels is going to be kind of prohibitive. Even in box stock, it's kind of a slight disadvantage because of how much higher your car is off of the ground so your uh, center of mass is kind of a little bit worse in terms of its position compared to the other kit um, the Avante Mark III Azure that they also have for the 45th anniversary so this is pretty good though because it also has at least the the branding 45th anniversary why go hobby so this is going to be a pretty good collector piece if you like branding and stuff like that so let's set these hard tires aside and let's look at the body first there you go the thundershot body so it comes with the carbon print and from what i can tell it still also has the uh, the film protective film because if it doesn't have the protective film it was it would be a lot more glossy and um it was probably hydro dipped with that pattern from underneath so because that's the only way they would actually reflect from underneath they can't have painted it from on top and then put the film on top of that so as you can see it looks pretty good all right now it looks dull because of the film but once you peel it off it'll have a pretty nice glossy uh, sheen to the actual body through that um, paint from underneath so the carbon print I, I personally have like one of these um, separate kits, not a kit, but like a part where it includes this and the mounting points, a Thundershot Mark II, and these are not easy to find. Uh, I think if you try to look for it in the secondary market, it's a lot. It's very expensive, I think, just because of how rare it is. So this is pretty cool being included with a kit. And then over here, these are the mounting points for the body. I'm pretty sure these are... Just regular ABS, there you go. That is very cool that they included it, uh, ABS. Let's look at the chassis too. Of course, it's gonna be pretty good that they included MS. It looks like ABS, yep, regular ABS. But the cool thing with this kit included is that it's a fluorescent orange. And uh, these are pretty cool. People really like the fluorescent stuff in terms of building because it's just like bright and very interesting to look at in terms of like, it's also easier to see your car when you're running around on the track. You, you're, it's gonna be harder to mix your car up with somebody else's car, so that's pretty cool. So fluorescent ABS MS Pro, these are more ideal that uh, for using the um, MS Flex because the center chassis is actually better. Um, a slight stiffness to the center chassis is fine. Uh, and the fact that it's ABS makes it a little bit more slippery in terms of the actuation of the the MS Flex um, suspension. Let's set this aside here. Um, the a these are what are they? Does it say? Okay, it looks like it's just a regular ABS right here. Um, plastic, which is good. You know, ABS with ABS uh, center is always going to be better. And this is uh, the old version of the nose. I think this is the um, N02 nose, right? Actually, no, this is the newer version of the nose, technically. The older version, the N01, had a more rounded uh, front bumper uh, shape. So this is the N02 and the T01 right there. And it's pretty good that it's also fluorescent orange. Um, let's take a look at the wheels. It'd be surprising if they were different. There you go, also. It's also a plastic 
the problem is you know we'd rather have this in like the medium diameter um, those are just more popular nowadays just because it's better for the center of mass and balance of the car but these are pretty cool too you know if you want to dress up something um, of one of your builds and you want extra large just because you know it looks kind of cool to have the spokes that are like this thin on a build you know that's cool too you can do that as well you know and then let's look at the a parts the a parts look like they're fine as well they're probably let's see i'm pretty sure these are abs as well a little bit of the glares kind of blocking it let's take a look yep this is the regular abs so nothing too special about it other than the fluorescent orange color so that looks pretty nice and uh, you know it's all orange and orange and orange I would have liked to have different color wheels, but I, I mean, that's their choice on how they decided that they wanted to um, build this kit out. So it looks like it's included with like black rollers, um, SMC motor. Um, you can kind of see it from there. I don't know why this is blue instead of the clear. Um, um, but they included a 4 to 1 gear ratio instead. Yeah, that's probably just because out of the box you want to be able to make it fair for the other cars. So generally when they um, have a, an extra large diameter wheel, they kind of pair it with a 4 to 1 gear ratio. But, you know, that's just to make sure that everything is kind of um, even out of the box. So sadly, these are in 3.5, but 3.5s are generally what people use are 3.7, I think. And then let's take a look at the... There you go, specific branding for the Waigo Hobby 45th Anniversary Special. And then it does have a, a more updated version of the um, instructions as well. And then of course it'll have the, um, you know, sticker instructions for the body as well. All right, let's set that aside. Let's look, take a look at the sticker sheet. And this doesn't have the included wheel stuff the ones that are included with the see-through wheels for the Avante Mark III Azure. But these are pretty cool too. It comes with the plastic stickers in case you want to use it for something else for painting because, you know, they're just better when you're um, using um, these stickers for painting. But, you know, with a body like that, you don't necessarily need to paint. You just, you know, make use of the carbon print right there. And there you go, Thunder Shot Mark II, Waigo Hobby 45th Anniversary Branding, right there. So that's pretty cool that they included that. Alright, so we are going to go ahead and uh, rate this kit in terms of value, collectability, and upgradability. So, for value, the Thunder Shot version of the 45th Anniversary is going to be a 10. Um, depending on how much you paid for it, if you are able to buy it from them during release i'm sure this was probably um pretty cheap um, not too expensive because you know they are released on their own hobby shop and then of course they're not gonna be super crazy in terms of price unless it's like you know one of those um kits that are licensed from with other stuff you know like the aomg kit that we reviewed recently that one was definitely um pricier um, this one in comparison, if it's just the um, manufacturer dealing with the specific hobby shop, it's going to be a lot better in terms of um, how much you need to pay because they already have like a working relationship anyway. It's going to be a lot easier for them to make the price point much better. So that's probably a 10 for me for in terms of value. For collectability, I'm going to give it the same score. Um, as the Avante Mark III Azure just because you know it's pretty much made for the same reason as the other one it comes with a pretty cool um, carbon printed body um, pattern and then also the 45 year anniversary is pretty cool um, being that they've been working with Tamiya for that long and they're still pretty successful at what they're doing is always a, a cool thing to see in the hobby community so I'm definitely giving them a 15 for collectability. For um, upgradability, I'm going to give this one a an 8. Um, the biggest difference from this kit and the Avante Mark III Azure is the extra large uh, wheels and tires that are included. These just make it a little bit worse for box stock. And then even if you want to trim the tires, they're going to be a little bit 
you know worse anyway because of the higher center of mass that you have to uh, deal with for the kit after you've built the car so it's going to be a little bit of a disadvantage in terms of balance and you know um it's just going to be worse slightly so i'd rather have seen another medium diameter set from them but you know you know uh, there was i'm sure there were some decisions that they made that they're like okay we'd rather have this at this kit instead of having them all kind of the same so that's probably it so i'm gonna give the thunder shot an eight on terms of upgradability that's really the only drawback that i see from this kit so all in all in terms of value collectability and upgradability the the average score is going to be an 11. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please uh, like, subscribe, and share. And uh, thanks for watching. Go race.